June is PTSD Awareness Month, and our next guest has a personal connection with PTSD and how his veteran-owned company is making a difference with the sale of protein bars. Here to talk about the products and his story further, we want to welcome Ian Sparks, who is a veteran and the owner of the protein bar company, Battle Bars. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Before we talk about your company, you served in the Army and were commissioned into the Army Officer Corps, serving multiple tours throughout the Middle East. Tell us about your story and how you're raising awareness for PTSD. Sure. Um, so again, as you said, uh, I joined the Army in 2009. Uh, during this time since then, I've deployed to Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria. I've worked with every other service. Uh, that exists right now, uh, and, and not the Space Force yet, unfortunately. Uh, but through that time, I've met thousands of soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines who have deployed to every combat zone in the world. Uh, many of them have had successful tours. Uh, I have lost a friend or two, unfortunately, but more have come back home. And many of those are suffering from PTSD to this day. And part of Battle Bar's whole idea was to help bring awareness to that through products and obviously due to my personal experiences and those people that I knew. And that's kind of our goal, just bring awareness and uh, hopefully keep helping people find a solution to those issues. Absolutely, now getting into battle bars, how did you come up with that idea, <laughs> especially in such a competitive market? Mm -hmm. Well, my brother and my co-founder, he has at least seven to eight years experience in the protein bar industry. For me personally, I had just gotten back from a deployment to Syria in 2017, and during that time had eaten a lot of protein bars uh, that, uh, let's face it, did not taste good. Uh, there are a lot of chemical taste, aftertaste, things like that. So the idea was simple, was just to make something that tasted better, and the very basic initial idea was for deployed soldiers, sailors, airmen, etc., that they could have something that would fit in their uniform pocket and take with them, and they wouldn't regret eating it later on. And uh, needless to say, the idea evolved beyond just that. And then obviously we got into our uh, more charitable focus as well. But very basic idea, something that tastes good for those that need it. And Battle Bars has a partnership with Operation Enduring Warrior. Tell us more about the initiative. Yes, so Operation Enduring Warrior, they are a nonprofit, 100% volunteer charity. Uh, fantastic, fantastic people. They help rehabilitate military for, uh, and first responders, law enforcement officers, uh, through physical and mental and, and just any other kind of programs that they can offer. Uh, they focus on a team environment, which is something that many veterans and uh, police officers would tell you is something that they miss when they leave their service, uh, that, uh, that feeling of being part of a team. I know that's something that I struggle with as well when I first got back from my first and second deployment. And uh, that, that's kind of what they do. They, they try to bring that, to, that whole team together and uh, that, that focus. So when we founded the company, our first plan was to find someone like Operation Enduring Warrior to partner with, um, whether that is donation of products or profit, as best we can. Uh, for a new company, that was a little bit tough, but they're just a, uh, again, fantastic people. Um, we partnered with them from day one, and it's just it's continued to grow and evolve, and they're, they're fantastic programs that they have over there. And lastly, on a lighter note, I want to pose this subjective question to you. What is your favorite battle bar sure. flavor? Uh, <laughs> that's always the tough one. Uh, I'm very partial to cookies and cream because I always have been since a kid. But we just uh, launched a new one. It's called the Red Bar for Remember Everyone Deployed. It's another way that we could try to bring some awareness to uh, RED Day, Remember Everyone Deployed Day, um, where people wear red shirts on Fridays. Uh, but that's probably my new favorite. It's strawberry. It has the big chunks of strawberries in it. It tastes like uh, your favorite childhood cereal in the best way. So that's, that's my new favorite as of, uh, as of last week. What a great initiative and great company. And for our viewers watching, you can learn more information at battlebars.com. Ian Sparks, thank you so much again for your time. Thank you. I appreciate you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.